Quincy Blue Devils soccer team saw great success in Bloomington Normal once already this postseason, having won the sectional title. But tonight, they would need good fortune for a third time. Unfortunately, fortune doesn't favor Quincy High as their season comes to a close as they suffer a tough defeat against Naperville Central by a final score of 2 to nothing. Our own Chris Dewar was at the game on his way back right now. Actually, we'll have some highlights for you tomorrow at 6. But again, a tough loss and it ends a great season for Quincy High. Good news, though, for Hannibal Soccer. They win their district opener against Mexico by a final score of 2 to 1. They will take on Moberly at home Thursday at 6 o'clock. And congrats and good luck to the Hannibal Pirates looking for their district crown. Also good news for the Canton Tigers. They move on to take on the Missouri Military Academy after winning their district opener against Montgomery County by a final score of 4 to nothing. Lots of volleyball to talk about, though, as well. And let's go to the Beardstown sectional where Quincy Notre Dame is taking on Williamsville in the early going. Kristen Gigenbacher sets up Gracie Barnes who puts it down. Then it's Barnes up front just as effective to help Q&D out to a lead. Barnes with 11 kills on the evening. Cassidy Foley graces the line right here for the great kill. She had 10 kills on the day as well. And after the nice dig by Shannon Foley, one of 23 digs by Shannon Foley, it's Cassidy once more. She goes back to it. And QND wins game one, rolling through Gracie Barnes once more. This will drop in, and Quincy Notre Dame advances to the sectional finals, winning by scores of 25 19 and 25 12 this evening. They have a date on Thursday with Plains. Pleasant Plains takes down Illini Bluffs two games to none. They will take on QND Thursday at 7 o'clock at Beardstown. Bumping down to the 1A level, Unity over in Abington taking on Princeville in the Abington sectional semifinal. After falling into a 12-6 hole, Rachel Rush does her part to help the Mustangs out of it with a great kill. Then they just catch fire. This is Kylie Churchill right into your living room with that one. And then no shot of this one getting back over the net for Princeville as Brooklyn Moore slams this one home quicker than you can blink. Then it's more of Miss Churchill. You know, Unity fell into a 12-6 hole. They would win game one. 25 to 15, an unbelievable run, and even Ashley Brooks gets in on the fun with the great setter dump back right over, as you see. And then it's Brooklyn Moore who we leave you with once more. Unity wins game two by a final score of 25-18, so they win two games to none, and they advance to the Abingdon sectional finals where they will take on Illini Central. They will take on Unity a Thursday at 7 o'clock. They take down United by final scores of 25-15 and 25-16. Still not done in the Liberty sectional this evening. We had Payson Seymour in action. Payson, of course, took down Liberty in the early going. Here is Harley Flesner off the tip, and then Catherine Richards finishes by throwing the hammer down. And then Richards, two for the price of one, will give the Student Athlete of the Week a little love here as she records the great block and then gets the kill second. That one falls in, then Flesner helps pour it on by serving the ace for the Lady Indians. Kristen Luce also helps out by doing her part with the big kill right here up front. And then it's more of Richards with this great block. This Payson Seymour team has some great height and they are able to utilize it. Luce practices the tip drill to perfection right here. And then we leave you with Kristen Luce. One more for the road as Payson wins by scores of 25-21 and then 25-12 against Pawnee. So they win two to nothing. They will take on Lutheran, a very, very tough Lutheran team. I believe the record is 34-3 this year. Springfield Lutheran takes down Harding Calhoun by scores of 25-23 and 25-11. They will take on Payson Seymour at Liberty on Thursday at 7 o'clock for the sectional final. Also good news to report, out of Iowa Volleyball, Holy Trinity is state-bound for the second straight year as they take down HLV in the Class 1 Region 8 final. And Michaela Fecky, the fabulous freshman with 20 kills in this one, Holy Trinity wins by scores of 25-13, 25-10, and 25-7. The state tournament for them is next Thursday. Good luck to the Lady Crusaders. We've got basketball to talk about. John Wood begins the season 1-0 as they take down St. Louis Community College by a score of 70-61. Antonio Landers leads the Blazers in scoring. Then, as far as the women are concerned, HLG falls to second-ranked Union, 79-62. But Culver Stockton, with their second win of the year, they take down Clark, 76-59. The Canton product, Jesse Logson with 20 points and 11 boards.